Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising and it's the weekly reading for the week of June 17 to 23. Your cards this week, Capricorn, energy is leaving, completing or transitioning. You have the Strength card. For Focus Energies this week, you have Temperance with the Ace of Cups and you have the Page of Cups coming in towards the end of the week. So Capricorn, quite a bit of Cups energy here, sort of dealing in the realm of emotional matters this week. So, starting at the start, Strength card. Potentially you're coming out of a dark time. A time where you've had to meet your, you know, your challenges, your internal challenges with strength, courage and compassion. Uh, when I was doing your pre-shuffle, the sun also jumped right out of the deck. So, I really feel that, um, you know, the sun is starting to shine on you and, and come back to you after a period of darkness. You know, the strength card also indicates too that whatever situation you went through, it could have caused you emotional disbalance and harmony and actually literally unleashed your inner beast, your inner demons. Maybe a situation that you were in was actually bringing out the worst in you. And with when strength comes in, it sees you going through a period of actually, um, you know, taming those inner demons and bringing them back into control so you can move into a greater place of harmony and balance. It's about having bringing yourself back into a place of emotional self mastery. And do, through, you know, to, to, in order to do that, we need to be compassionate and kind to ourselves, just like we see the figure in the card here doing with the lion, actually, literally, you know, coaxing and calming it back into a place where you're back into control of those emotions. So I feel like that's the energy that you have been in Capricorn after a situation that literally stirred you up in the wrong way. Now, focus energies this week, we have Temperance and the Ace of Cups. So I love Temperance coming in after that strength energy because Temperance continues that theme of emotional rebalancing. You know, you can see the, the figure here with the two cups and, um, you know, pouring the water between one and the other. It's, you know, when Temperance comes in, it shows somebody who's coming back into emotional control, who's been able to coax and calm those inner demons and now is actually moving into a place of, a place of healing, a place of restored renewal. Temperance, you know, sees an angelic figure who has one, one foot in the realms of the emotion and one foot on, you know, the grounded energies here. So it's somebody who can actually um, balance their emotions as they move through their daily life. So maybe in the past in this situation actually got to a point where you thought, you know, it was really hard to even go out to work and um, you know get on with the things that you you needed to do but now we see you actually being able to do that now you know your emotions are under control so that you can actually go back out and move through the into the flow of life um, you know and you've got these feelings under control you know temperance is also the card of Sagittarius there could be a Sagittarius around you that's helping you with a healing transition um, you know and we also see the angel wings here so it has a sense of divine guidance also now let's clarify with the ace of cups so i feel that um, the reminder here is that through coming into that place of balance through coming into that place of renewal that you're now actually opening yourself up for new amazing opportunities and matters of the heart for yourself so the eight of ace of cups are those seeds of pure potential of some kind of emotional connection with somebody so it could be a love connection, it may be a friendship, something like that. But that when the Ace of Cups up, up, sorry, when the Ace of Cups comes in, there are other seeds of pure potential, but they do need to be watered to grow. So you know, if you're seeing a connection with somebody, you know, maybe actually give that some attention and see where that goes. Because I feel like you're you know moving into a place where you might be able to actually accept new love into your life. It's really beautiful. And here we have um, the Page of Cups coming in towards the end of the week. So this could literally be, you know, some kind of offer of love coming in for you. So, you know, look out for a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces that could offer you um, some kind of offering of love. You know, it could be a younger person as well, a younger person that's quite creative and adventurous and exciting. Um, it could also, with that Page of Cups here, just be the reminder to you, for you to, you know, lighten up after 
coming through a heavier energy you know you've healed yourself maybe now it's time to to have fun to be adventurous to be lighter to look on the bright side uh, yeah but I do also think that's um, strong potential for a message here to come in that could lead to if it's not love some kind of feeling of emotional overflowing and some beautiful energies so Capricorn I love this reading for you because it's a different energy um, to what I've seen for you coming into this year I feel like your energy is starting to shift you are starting to heal restore and rebalance rebalance and through that you know new opportunities new emotional opportunities that are going to fulfill you are now able to come in so that's what I have for you Capricorn I hope you enjoyed the reading keep in mind it is a general reading it won't resonate with every Capricorn out there and we'll see you for another reading next week